Hi, it's Jenny here from tt for t and today I'm going to show you how to make an Apple ID without having to put in credit card information. So make sure that you are on your laptop or your computer and you want to have iTunes open like you see here. And what I want you to do is to, you're going to uh, go to the App Store. So I want you to click on the App Store first. Do not click on Sign In yet. We're going to go straight to the App Store. And from the App Store, we're just going to download a free app. So once you come here, uh, let's just type in something that I know is free. We'll just type in D-R-I-V-E for the Google Drive app and hit enter. And it's got everything that has to do with the word drive, but we just want the app. So come over here on the left side and click on apps. And then we're going to click this free button right here to download this Google Drive into our iTunes library. When you click this, it's going to ask you to put in your Apple ID. Now remember, what we're trying to do is to create an Apple ID. So go ahead and hit Create Apple ID. You're unable to download any apps until you've signed in. So we're going to do this a little bit differently just so you don't have to put in any credit card information. So from here, it's just telling you all the great things you can get, and we're going to hit continue. And then check that you've read and agreed to these terms, and hit agree. And then here is where you're going to start putting in your information. Now, you are going to put in um, your personal, our BPS and E um, email is fine. And just put in uh, your email here. And I'm going to just create a pseudo one here while we're working together. And then um, put in your password here. Now, Apple ID passwords have to have at least one capital letter and one number. So keep that in mind for your password. That you, again, you have to have one capital letter and one number for an Apple ID. And then for your security questions, uh, you will have to put in this information and you might want to write this down somewhere and then you want to have a rescue email so this is one that if you did lose your Apple ID that Apple could send it to this email and help you reset your account so if you have a personal email or an old Gmail account, that's a good way to be contacted. And then um, put in your birthday. Okay. You can uncheck these things if you don't want to get a lot of things in your email from Apple and then click continue. Okay. Now here is where you could put in information. If you want to have a credit card associated with your account, you certainly can do that. It would be your personal one. Um, and there's certain, you know, I, that's how I get all of my music and books and so on. But if you do not want to do that, here's where you're going to get the option of none. And since we went in through the App Store, we get this um, none selected. So that's the one we want. And then you also need to select a title here. and just put in your information. Um, you can put in uh, your personal billing information. If you entered a credit card, you'll have to do that so that it all matches up, just like any purchase that you make online. And go ahead and put that information in. This is right. Okay. And then once you've got all of that in, hit create Apple ID. The phone number must be seven digit. Oh, so I just need to I've got one too many numbers in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, one too many zeros. And now let's try it. 
So then what's going to happen is Apple is going to send you a verification code to this email account that whatever you put in and then you are ready to go. Once you verify it, it's going to ask you to sign in and then that is how you have created an Apple ID.